Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for December 4th through December 10th. Now this is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up, and I need to remind you that this isn't a private reading, so it may not resonate with you. Um, take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it until, like, right now. We're done. And I will focus this camera in after I have the cards laid out. And I do want to remind you that this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and this recording should not be on anybody else's channel unless it is Soul Source Tarot's channel. I guess that looks pretty good. All right, so the basis is the judgment re reversed, you know, the judgment card. So that tells me that many of you could be, like, denying something, not seeing the truth, not acknowledging, keeping your blinders on, um, not willing to open your eyes to a situation, or just not even realizing that you need to open your eyes to a situation because... Generally, the judgment card is a wake-up call, but in your case, it is reversed. And right next to that is the Queen of Cups. Uh, that's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it is reversed as well. So it's telling me that somebody is not accepting something. They're not listening to their, to their own um, inner guide. You know, they're not listening. So you're not listening to your intuition? Is that what's going on? I see that there's some depression here in your life. I'm not sure where that's coming from. But there is some depression. There could be a withdrawal of some sort. Either you or the other person that's in your life. There could be some kind of emotional withdrawal. It appears that there's a heavy, heavy energy around you. Whether it's you or the other person. There's like a heaviness that just needs to be released. Somebody may be feeling like dead inside, feeling like there's no need to even go on with this. Um, I feel like it's really definitely a period of solitude, going within, wanting to be alone, trying to refocus. Um, I think that many of you are trying to really figure out what it is that you want. It's def def there's definitely a period of feeling like this is too much. You know, I feel like somebody is feeling like this is too much, whether it's you or the other person. Okay, so, and I also feel like somebody is wanting to free themselves from a situation or they are actually doing that and that could be making you depressed. I'm not sure. Um, there could be a change in a commitment because we have that four of wands reversed. That could signify... Um, a commitment that isn't really going the way that you had hoped. There could be a third party situation in your life. Maybe you're interested in somebody or somebody else is interested in you or your partner, you know, could be heading in a different direction out of the commitment now or that could be vice versa. It could be you or the other person. I do feel like there's a big huge imbalance here in your life. It feels like things are definitely feeling out of whack. There's conflicts. There's challenges. Um, and I think that many of you are close to the end. Close, very, very close to the end of something. We have the Ten of Swords here with the Four of Swords. And those are kind of like, they're almost like death cards. Not that somebody's going to die, but they're death cards. It's the end of a situation, you know. And then we have the Judgment right next to it. So I think that... There's, there's an end in sight, but somebody is in denial here, okay? Somebody's in denial. It's like you don't want to believe that the end is in sight, whether it's you or the other person. They just aren't taking, they aren't really, somebody isn't really um, taking action to end something that 
is really too heavy. I mean, there's a lot of heavy, heavy heaviness around. Maybe some of you may be even feeling ill, like you just need time to be alone, like this is really, really too much for you. Very, very heavy, heavy, heavy energy to carry around. Um, and I feel like many of you are just ready to be free. It's like, I'm ready to be free. I'm about to be free and I'm going to be free, but you just haven't made the move yet. Okay. Um, it's up to you. It's up to you to make the choice. Okay. With the seven of cups reverse, it is about choices. Remember what you own owns you. And I think many of you are very, very, very close to taking a leap, you know, a leap of faith and just going with your heart's desire just just moving just moving on many of you could be moving physically but it looks like many of you have been through a period of de de depression withdrawal maybe even illness and it's like i'm ready to go i'm ready to go you just need to take the steps and it takes faith there may be just you know a little bit of fear there there could even be a feeling of forgiveness that is needed. Maybe, you know, you don't forgive yourself or you don't forgive the other person. But judgment can signify forgiveness. But it is reversed. So maybe somebody just needs to forgive you or the other person. Now let me tell you who you're dealing with. You're pretty prominent dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius. And that is what I see right now. But there's definitely trouble within a commitment you know or or something like that it looks like there is some kind of conflicts tension in your life right now and somebody is just totally pulling away they're pulling away whether it's you or the other person that you're with somebody is ready to move on oh i grabbed the wrong deck i'm not using that one i'm using this one There's definitely, I feel like somebody is be, being very cold, whether it's you or the other person. They're just, they're not there anymore. It's like they've completely removed themselves from the situation, you know, whether they've moved out physically or they're really wanting to move. I mean, somebody is wanting to move on. Forgiveness isn't really an option at this point. They're not really forgiving and they're, they're really just not even giving love at this point. And yeah, I think that you're feeling pretty alone. Or somebody is feeling pretty alone. Like I said, somebody is ready to move on. It's it's clear. With the Eight of Cups and the Four of Cups and the Queen of Cups reversed, you know, somebody is ready to go. They're not putting in any more effort. It's like, I, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. I've realized that it's over. I think the realization has finally happened that it's time to move on, whatever this is. It's time to go. Okay, there, you're, there's a very much discontentment here, okay, with the Four of Cups and the Four of Wands and the Four of Swords, there's a lot of discontent, there's a lot of like depression with the queen of you have the queen of cups twice reversed that's depression it's just very withdrawn and somebody is is like leaving and not coming back okay I'm, I'm, I'm leaving it's time for me to go a secret has been revealed and now it's it's so it's over you know it's over and the time is now eights the time is now okay it feels like many of you are so close to opening your eyes and having the awakening, having the um, final say. It's like it's 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 about to become final. All right. Um, it's just, somebody has realized that there's no more future wherever they're at I mean that's what I see and with the judgment card being reversed as the basis of your reading I feel like somebody is very close very very close to the end the end the end of a relationship the end of a fight the end of a um, problem it's like there it's there's been a lot of contemplation, there's been a lot of sorrow, there's probably been some illness, and, you know, somebody is sick over this, and I just can't do it anymore, that's what I feel, it's like I have to go. That's what I see, 
I see, I see. Nobody's, somebody's not putting in the effort in a relationship. I mean, it's absolutely clear. Somebody isn't offering the emotional support, the love, the care, the even wanting to be there anymore. It's gone, okay? It's true. This is what's going on. As many of you are absolutely ready to take back control of your life. The time has come to open your eyes and do the right thing for you. Okay? It is. Don't look back. Don't look back. Whatever is meant to be, will be. All right? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Trust in divine timing. Trust in the divine, period. Everything happens for a reason. Everything is out of balance. Everything is out of whack. There's conflicts. There's withdrawal. There's denial. You know, the, a secret came out. Everything that happened, there's depression, is happened for a reason. It's bringing you closer to what is meant to be. Free yourself from whatever this is that is causing you this stress. Free yourself. Attraction. Once you do that, your attraction level is going to pop right through the roof, by the way. Because that heavy burden, that heaviness of feeling unhappy will be gone. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, by living in the now. Enjoying this moment. Living in the now. Whatever is not there in the past, whatever's over, it's done. It happened for a reason. Now is the time to take the blindfold off and head in your direction. And trust that the divine knows what it's doing. Have patience. Divine timing is at work. Believe it. Let the universe drive. I'm going to get you one of my Whispering Woods cards and see what comes up. Ooh. Wish. Make a wish. Make a wish with a dandelion in the wind. And if you don't have a dandelion, imagine it. Imagine holding that dandelion, you know, that white dandelion that's already passed, you know, and it's at the end and it's like white cotton, okay? Imagine holding that in your hand and you see that in your hand and make a wish and blow and trust that the divine is going gonna, is gonna to help you. Try it. See what happens. Don't expect it to happen overnight. Okay, because I don't work like that. So Aries, this is what I have for you for the week of December 4th through December 10th. And this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And this video should not be on anybody else's channel. Talk to you later.